All new tonight at 11, two local groups are calling on a school to be more transparent after a student was assaulted. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. Scott Levin is off tonight. We the parents and Stop the Violence say the Buffalo Collegiate School is not reporting incidents, violent incidents, like it should be. Two on your sides, Rob Hackford is hearing from advocates and a school leader on what's being done. Rob? Oh, Mary Ellis, uh, the mother of 10-year-old Zachary Walker, a student at Buffalo Collegiate Charter, is claiming that her son was assaulted at school last month, but until tonight she has not gotten answers about what happened, she says. The head of school at Buffalo Collegiate Charter, who I spoke to a short while ago, however, who doesn't exactly see it that way and says there has been communication. Zachary, seen here in photos provided by his mother, suffered a bruised face and a concussion after she says he was assaulted on June 13th. The family is now working with the group We the Parents to try and get some answers and want Buffalo Collegiate to release the incident report from that day. Well, the head of school, Brian Pulaski, acknowledged what happened and said the school has always been committed to student safety. If it's unsafe, what are the mechanisms they're going to put in place to make it safer? But we need to know those things because this parent clearly is struggling with the fact that her 10 year old was assaulted and she has no answers to why and she has no answers to what the school is going to do different. Buffalo Collegiate Charter School is committed to the safety of everyone in our building. And we certainly do not condone violence of any kind. Uh, unfortunately, the query at hand involves a specific isolated student matter, which we are prohibited by law from discussing. But I can tell you generally that at any time an incident occurs at school, we have a process in place to handle it depending on what is involved. I can't speak specifically to Ms. Walker at this time. I can tell you that she and her family have been great partners uh, with us over the years. Um, and in each instance that we engage in, we work to communicate um, transparently with every family that is affected by any incident. Well, tracking these sorts of violent incidents in school is done by the State Education Department, although these are self-reported. The data for Buffalo Collegiate Charter School only shows three recorded incidents over the past three school years. Now, violent incident reports for this past school year aren't due to, to the state until July 25th, but Pulaski says this incident will be included. He also says since the pandemic, Buffalo Collegiate Charter has expanded student support teams, including counselors, and uses restorative practices rather than traditional punishment already. In the studio, Rob Hack for Channel 2 News.